Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. So, sitting around the other day, thinking about some random projectile stuff, some cartridge stuff, and I had a, a light bulb go off. Man, 270, just thinking about the numbers, there's a newer cartridge that I wonder if it surpasses the ballistics and uh, so I had to do a bunch of nerdy calculations and put it on a spreadsheet and color code it and rank them. So this is going to be a quick video. We're going to compare three cartridges that I thought would be beneficial knowledge for me and you to have. So I threw it all together here in some color charts to help us, what's the word I'm looking for, translate the data. So I had a bunch of questions a while back and people were asking me, hey, can you compare a 270 Winchester and a 6.5 Creedmoor? And I did that. Hands down, lights out. The 270 just absolutely smashes the 6.5 Creedmoor. There's no comparison. I mean, it's a long action versus short action. It's, it's simply no comparison. You know, a lot of people think, oh, the 6.5 Creedmoor, that's a sniper round. That's a great long range round. It's really not. Uh, people liked doing long range initially because it, it's light recoil. You can stay in the scope. You can see your misses. Those same guys are now doing even lighter stuff. Six Creedmoor, six GT and frou-frou stuff like that. I'll call it. When it comes to hunting, is it nice to stay in the scope? Absolutely. Yes. See your miss. You know, hopefully you didn't miss, but see the impact. Well, 270 is definitely going to have more recoil uh, than 6.5 Creedmoor, but the 270 is absolutely much flatter and carries energy further than the 6.5 Creedmoor. So when it comes to a big game hunting cartridge, mm, the 6.5 Creedmoor is no match for the 270 Winchester. Can you take big game with 6.5 Creedmoor? Sure, I've done it, but 270 much better numbers as far as trajectory and energy on target. Well then, what I was thinking was, what if we juiced up the speed? What if we took the same projectiles, 6.5 projectiles, the 264 projectiles, that's right, isn't it, 264? Yeah, 264 is a 6.5, and gave them two or 300 feet per second. Then how would that compare to the 270. Well, here comes the 6.5 PRC, which you can see it's a fatter case. It's still a 6.5. It uses as 264 projectiles, but the 6.5 PRC, generally speaking, has about 250 feet per second more with the same projectiles as the 6.5 Creedmoor. So, 6.5 PRC, long story short, is a 6.5 Creedmoor with 250 feet per second more. Now that we have these speeds in the 6.5 PRC, which I've had several, man, my uh, CVA Cascade Long Range Hunter, it's the one I got now, lights out, lights out. We're gonna do a long range video with it soon, but it's the same whole group, at 100 yards. Now, what if you compare the 270 Winchester to the 6.5 PRC? Hmm. I put a bunch of numbers together. I grabbed three factory loadings from Remington of each, a 270, a 6.5 Creedmoor, and a 6.5 PRC. Boom, put, them, put the numbers in a table. How do they compare? This will surprise you. Maybe it won't, maybe it will. It surprised me. So with the newer 6.5 PRC cartridge, Hey, in this short action, it almost duplicates and in some instances outperforms that 270 Winchester. Oh. But look at the numbers. At the end of the day, uh, this might surprise you. So drop in inches. Again, if you want to go super deep, freeze this screenshot it, study it. The sweet spot for 270 Winchester is more or less 130 grain. Some of them's 140, some of them's 150. 
Uh, but the 6.5 Cremo, 6.5 PRC, they're right in there too. 140, 145, 147. So right off the bat, I've got the rankings. On the very far right column that's colored, I have the rankings. Out to a thousand yards with these nine factory loadings, which one drops the least? Which is the flattest to a thousand yards? Well, that's a 6.5 PRC. That's a Remington Premier Long Range 140 Rainer. It's the flattest out of all these. What's the second flattest? It's another 6.5 PRC. Remington's Corlock tipped 140 Rainer. What's the third flattest? Well, that's a 270. Now, I'm, we're going to talk about energy here in a second. The 270 still wins in the energy department, depending on how you look at it. The third flattest is a 270 that Corlock tipped, 130 gram. Then what's the fourth flattest? Well, it's a 6.5 PRC cut. That's a copper round from Remington. So 270 versus 6.5 Creedmoor versus 6.5 PRC. Three out of the four, the top three, three out of the top four out of these nine compared are 6.5 PRC. So from a trajectory perspective, 6.5 PRC, generally speaking, it's flatter than the 270 Winchester. When we compared the 6.5 Creedmoor, that was not the case. 270, hands down, is much flatter than the 6.5 Creedmoor, but the PRC, woo! Hey, from a trajectory perspective, it beats out the 270 Winchester. Now, real quick, in the same fashion, uh, let's talk about energy. Same loadings, but we're talking about energy now. So here's where one of the 270 Winchester loads wins. Out to 1,000 yards, a 270, 150 grain Remington Premier Long Range, which is kind of heavy for caliber for 270, but that's a high BC loading, carries the most energy to 1,000 yards. It's that bright green line 270 there. But then, what's ranked number two, number three, number four? All three of the 6.5 PRC loadings. Hmm. And then you can see um, that Creedmoor is just sitting at the bottom compared to the other two. Uh, but you can freeze this, guys. Just an interesting video of some data that I put together for my own personal knowledge. Um, hey. For the most part, 6.5 PRC, it's the new 270. Short action, same performance or better performance from both a drop perspective and an energy perspective. So if somebody tries to tell you, oh man, that 270, it's, it's just so much better performing than the 6.5 PRC, that's not necessarily the case. That is true over the 6.5 Creedmoor, hands down, 270 smokes the 6.5 Creedmoor, but Guess what? 6.5 PRC, in a lot of ways, it's the 270 of the future. Uh, but hey, appreciate y'all watching. Fun comparison. Now we've all got this data. Um, I really wanted to know this for myself. Uh, but hey, appreciate you watching. Say we're going out to catch a whitetail, and you've got the choice of a 270, a 6.5 Creedmoor, or a 6.5 PRC. Which one are you going to grab? I'm interested to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Appreciate y'all. Make sure you're subscribed. We'll see y'all on the next one. Hootie hoo!